Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today it is Monday. Yes, today is Monday. And over the weekend, I filmed a grocery haul because we did go to Trader Joe's. And I got a few new things. Throughout everything that has been happening, um, Trader Joe's managed to come up with some new stuff. So I was super excited about that. They are still doing the you know the limited amount of people inside of the store and you do have to be six feet apart from everybody in line um, so the wait was pretty long to get in it was I think it took 20 minutes so anyways I just wanted to share with you what I got so we're gonna just get on into that okay we're gonna start off over here this oatmeal I did stock up on it because it has been gone for the last like I'd say three weeks I was not able to get a hold of it so finally got my hands on it and I got three boxes I wanted to get four but Mihai told me I was being greedy so I got three all right so best oatmeal ever and then I also did get just like regular rolled oats because you know kind of just like as a safety net you you want that safety net when it comes to oatmeal so I got that and then I got our favorite pita bite crackers. These are absolutely delicious. You guys know I rave about these all the time. And then I got some honey. I've been loving honey on all of my yogurts lately. I got some crunchy almond butter. I don't know why I didn't get cream, but it's okay. And then I got I got a power crunch bar. Just it looked good. And then I got some sage. My mom put sage in her tea and it always tastes so good. So I got some of that. I also got some dill. And then we got some, we actually got quite a bit of fruit. I got some grapes. I got some blackberries. I got some blueberries. I also have strawberries. I put them in the fridge already. I got some kiwi. It just looked good. It sounded good. Honestly, anything fruity right now sounds so, so good. And then I got bananas. Um, and I got these flour tortillas because I'm going to make some quesadillas. And then got some tomato sauce. Going to make homemade pizza. I had to get this. And then I also did get our um, lentil pasta from Trader Joe's, which is finally back in stock. I put it away, but anyways, I bought that and then I got the ground beef, so we have those meals going. And then I got these little sweet peppers and my mom makes them so, so good, so I'm gonna copy her. She just roasts them in the oven with some olive oil and some garlic, salt and pepper and they're so delicious. So I got those and then some avocados for the quesadillas and I'm probably gonna make taco bowls this week, so stocked up on some avocados and then we've got okay I'm not even sure like you know what I'm gonna leave the snacks for later okay you guys already know I'm obsessed with my English muffin breakfast these are so good I just I love them they're so easy they're so quick delicious and I finally got my favorite cream cheese onion chive cream cheese this was also out of stock for a really long time at Trader Joe's um, and then we've got this delicious sausage. I love these chicken sausages. You guys know I go through all of the flavors all the time. This one, the jalapeno one is my favorite and also the andouille one. That one's really good too, but I think that I like this one the best. I'm not sure, but this is great. I mean, one link has 130 cal, seven fat, and 17 protein. This is like the best way to get your protein in in the morning. I put this, this sausage with this cream cheese, with that egg McMuffin or that muffin and an egg, it's delicious. You just, you can't go wrong. So there's that. And then I got some shredded cheese for our homemade pizza, of course. I've got some smoked salmon. I love smoked salmon, best thing ever. This is new. I'm so grateful to Trader Joe's for coming out with new stuff in the midst of all this chaos but anyways this is a little organic tomato mozzarella piccolo little pizza and it looks so good low key though i did think these were so little salamis but they're tomatoes oops but anyways it looks good either way and then i've got this delicious oh, i got flank steak too 
Um, I've got this delicious mushroom and black truffle flatbread with mozzarella cheese. This is delicious. So I've got that, very excited for that. Um, what else? I think we're gonna move on to the good stuff now. Oh, I stocked up on asparagus too because I've just been loving it in the air fryer lately. Put it in the air fryer at like 390 for like up to 15 minutes, I think. I just like it really, really crispy. And then it kind of turns into like a little asparagus chip. It's really good. Um, so I got, Mihai wanted ice cream. So we got caramel cookie crunch gelato. And I wanted this. This is my favorite, favorite sweet treat ever. It's so good. With some coffee in the morning after that egg McMuffin. Oh, it's just delicious. Okay, and then let's talk about snacks, guys. Like I said, Trader Joe's has quite a few new things, okay? Starting with this milk chocolate caramel eggs. Did I need this? No. Did I want this? Yes. So I've got that. It looks, it looks great. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate eggs. And then this is new. This is olive and herbs mixed nuts. Um, almonds, cashews, pecans, and olives. Sounds delicious, considering it's, you know, nice and herby. So, this is new. Haven't tried it yet, but I feel like it's gonna taste great. And then we've got just a few more little goodies. So, first off, I wanted to talk about, well, I'm just gonna get these nuts over with. I got cashews and pecans, I'm gonna bake I forgot walnuts. I should. I needed walnuts. It's okay. So I got pecans. I got cashews. I'm gonna make something with these. Probably gonna eat these because I love eating cashews just for fun. And then I want to talk about these. These are. This is honestly the goat. This is the new thing. This is so so dang good. It is rice crackers medley, and it has these like chili balls and wasabi green peas and just this this bag is just a bag of crunchy deliciousness okay it's gluten free it looks like this you can kind of see it it tastes amazing and i got this to mix into it and it's just going to taste you have like i have no idea how amazing it's you know i know i have an idea of how amazing it's gonna taste i'm just mind blown at this little creation that I've created and it's just uh, it's gonna be so good this is like the best snack especially considering it's not all that bad the ingredients are not terrible at all and you know in a time like this snacks are a necessity my friends so anyways that's going to conclude this little haul hope you enjoyed it all right I hope you enjoyed that haul also, so because of everything that has been happening, obviously, um, I did not want to wait in line for Whole Foods and it still just, we're both, me and Mihai are just both just trying to limit um, our time outside and, you know, just like making those little unnecessary trips that we don't need to take. I've been just trying to limit them. So um, I did actually order a few things from Whole Foods Market because if you do have Prime, you are able to get free two-hour delivery with uh, with Whole Foods, which is amazing. But anyways, I wanted to show you what I got from there and honestly, it's been, it's been amazing um, just being able to order things to my house and being able to limit the amount of times that I'm you know, outside with people and stuff. I feel like it's just a great option to have. Also, you don't have to wait in a very long line. So I just want to share what I got with you guys. And this is actually my second week of doing this. I do have a very limited amount of time slots that are available. However, I have noticed that they do become available throughout the day. So if you're not able to get a time slot, then just check regularly, like every two hours or so, if you really need something. Then a time slot should should become available. You guys know I'm obsessed with my oat milk by Califia and I needed it for my oatmeal so I kept waiting and I kept waiting um, and I was finally able to get it so anyways we're just gonna jump right into the Amazon and Whole Foods order. This is our second week ordering Amazon Whole Foods so I'm just gonna show you everything that we got. 
All right, so it's just a few things. Unfortunately, a few things were taken out of my cart because they were out of stock, but we will try again later. Anyways, so I got a little bit, I got a little watermelon because we are just craving fruit right now. So important to have some sort of fruit while all of this is going on. So I got a little watermelon, probably cut it up later and just eat it on the balcony. And then I got some more of these Quinn whole grain sea salt pretzels. These are our favorite right now. And then I got some stevia. I got these Siggy's, um, they're like drinkable yogurts and they're really, really good for you. And they taste amazing and the ingredients are really good. This just kind of helps your digestion because I mean, they have probiotics in there. And then it's just nice to have something liquidy. So I got these and you guys know I love Siggy's. The ingredients are amazing. So got those. And then luckily, finally, I was able to get my favorite oat milk. This is for um, my oatmeal. It's so good. My absolute favorite was feeling extremely blessed that this was in stock. And then I also got the barista blend oat milk for, um, for coffee. And then I got this Jovial pasta. It's gluten-free pasta. This is the Facili one, and it's just brown rice pasta. And um, usually, you guys know I get lentil pasta, but I really wanted to try this one. And I have a few recipes that I want to make with this, as well as this gluten-free um, elbows pasta. And it's also brown rice. So very excited to try this. I think I'm gonna make mac and cheese with it. And then lastly, I got this cinnamon raisin bread. Where are the ingredients? They are, they're somewhere, but the ingredients are really good and the macros are good and it's sprouted, which is really, really good for you. So anyways, that is the conclusion of this tiny little haul, so yeah. Alrighty, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!